Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today I invite you to join me as we set aside everything that burdens us. In a world that often demands more, where the noise around us seems to only grow louder, God calls us to a place of stillness and trust. Let's focus on a powerful command from Psalm 46. 10. Be still and know that I am God. These words are simple, yet profound, and I believe that if we truly embrace them, they will transform our lives. Take a moment, right now, to breathe. Let go of your worries and set your mind on Jesus. Today, we're not looking for solutions. We're looking to the one who is the solution, God himself, our peace, our refuge, our source of life. Now let's explore what God is saying here. Be still, he says. He isn't asking us to stop caring or to become passive. This command to be still is an invitation to surrender, to recognize our limitations and, in that recognition, to find rest in His limitless power. He's telling us to pause our striving, to stop our constant attempts to control every detail, and to know that He is God. In life we often get tangled up in our own plans, our own efforts, thinking that if we just push a little harder, things will work out. But how often do we end up feeling exhausted, frustrated, and even defeated? Friends, God knows we're tired. He knows the weight we carry. And so he calls us to rest in his presence, to look to Jesus, and to let him take the burden. Let's turn to Jesus as our example of true peace. In Mark 4, we read about the disciples caught in a violent storm. The waves were crashing into the boat, filling it with water. Can you imagine the panic, the fear? They ran to Jesus, who was asleep in the back of the boat. They cried out, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? And what did Jesus do? He stood up and simply said, Peace, be still. And instantly, the storm calmed. This is the Savior we're looking to, the one who is unshaken by life's storms, the one who has authority over the winds and waves. The same Jesus who said, Peace be still, to the sea, is saying those same words to our hearts today. Whatever storm you're facing, whether it's anxiety, uncertainty, fear, or pain, Jesus is with you, inviting you to rest in his peace. Be still and know that I am God. What does it mean to know God in this stillness? It's not just intellectual knowledge. It's a deep heart-rooted understanding that He is good, that He is faithful, and that He will never leave us. It's a knowledge that brings confidence, even in the darkest valleys. When we know God in this way, we begin to understand that He works all things together for good, even when we cannot see it. You see, the stillness God calls us to is not empty. It's filled with His presence. It's a stillness where we meet Him, where we listen to His voice, and where we find our souls renewed. So often we're busy listening to the world, but today let's choose to listen to God. He's saying, Look to me. I am your strength. I am your comfort. I am your peace. In Isaiah 40, 31. We're reminded that those who wait upon the Lord will renew their strength. Waiting is not easy. It requires faith and patience. But it's in this waiting that God prepares us, strengthens us, and fills us with His Spirit. It's in the waiting that we learn to trust Him more deeply. Friends, I encourage you to bring every worry, every concern, every fear to Jesus today. Maybe it's a struggle in your family, maybe it's a battle with anxiety, or maybe it's a heavy heart weighed down by life's pressures. Whatever it is, know that Jesus is here, ready to bring you peace. He is saying, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Matthew 11.28 Let's remember, being still doesn't mean doing nothing. It means trusting completely. It means looking at our circumstances and choosing to believe that God is greater. It's a declaration of faith 
that God is in control, that his love never fails, and that his plans for us are good. Take a moment right now to be still, to feel God's presence, to let go of everything that has held you captive. Breathe in his peace. Remember that he is God, and we are his beloved children. He is working in ways we cannot see. He is for us, not against us. As we close, let's commit to walking in this stillness. Let's carry this peace with us, and let's look to Jesus, not just today, but every day. Let's pray, Heavenly Father. Thank you for your word and for your presence in our lives. Teach us to be still, to trust in your power, and to know that you are God. Help us to look to Jesus, to let go of our worries, and to rest in your love. Fill our hearts with peace and our minds with your truth. Strengthen us, renew us, and guide us as we walk in your light. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen.